It's week nine of high school football, and we're here at Rebel Field, but it's the Southside Sharks taking on the Como Spartans. The series is tied one to one as these schools are separated just by 10 miles, and the winner tonight gets the 2-1 advantage in the series. Coach Terry Martin and his Louisville Tigers are 9-0 this season, which is quite impressive, and they're led by some twin magic. The Lafayette Lions are taking on the Bar Buccaneers in this key 3-5-8 matchup. Both teams are looking for their fourth win of the season with the playoffs around the corner. The players want this stadium to be packed on Friday nights as the Tigers look to translate the work they put in during practice to the game. The players say that this team is special and that this year is their year. Opelousa's high quarterback Lawrence Pitry finished his high school career with the Tigers, but it all started his freshman year with an in Paris rival. Coach Terry Martin and his Louisville Tigers are 9-0 this season, which is quite impressive, and they're led by some twin magic. Caleb Jacob and his twin brother Colin have had a special connection since a young age, and they are able to translate it to the field as a quarterback and wide receiver duo. We've been playing with each other since like four, three years old. I mean, it's just normal. It's like he's been on my side, I've been on his side ever since. He knows what I'm going to do, and it's just he places the ball where it's supposed to be, and it's just, I'm done to make the play. So I'm guess, I guess you'd call it <laughs> like the twin thing, but it's just for us being together for so long, it's just we already know what we each other's thinking about, basically. The twin thing has the Tigers with a 9-0 record so far this season, but Coach Martin wants his team to remember the adversity they were able to overcome. That same senior group as freshmen was 0-9, and now, you know, it's almost a complete different group, you know, so I don't, I don't want them to kind of, I don't want them to forget where we came from. This team is one win away from an undefeated season, and being able to do it with your twin brother is an unbelievable feeling. It's, it's just, that twin connection is so powerful. I mean, it's just, I've been with him since day one, since we stepped on the field. It's just, our bond together is unlike no other. Reporting in Louisville, I'm Jalen Cavalier, KLFY News 10 Sports. The Opelousas High School Tigers are looking to have a winning season, but it all starts with veteran leadership. Senior quarterback Lawrence Pitry and junior wide receiver Giovanni Gibson are highly experienced and respected. They believe their work ethic builds chemistry, the team values. And extra work, me and him. And on the field when we when we're running routes and we go on against our defense, I know what route he running and I know how he want the ball and where to put it. This duo even connects outside of the game. And off the field, really, we just hang out a lot. He picked me up for school and everything. We be chilling. The players want this stadium to be packed on Friday nights as the Tigers look to translate the work they put in during practice to the game. The players say that this team is special and that this year is their year. It's no, there's no playing around on the field. We do play around. We got consequences, and it's not easy. We got the athletes. We got the weapons on both sides of the ball. We just got to put it all together one game and just show everybody what we got and be victorious. In Opelousas, I'm Jalen Cavalier, Acadiana Sports Network. It's homecoming at Acadiana High. Congrats to everyone on the court. And with the Rams already up 21 to three, Amari Wiggins makes a nice cut to take it all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. It's a party in the end zone on defense for the Rams as Larry Lewis recovers a fumble and takes it in for six. The fans are pumped up as the Rams offense continues with their ground game with Kevon Williams, who goes on a big run, stops on a dime, and takes it in for a 50 yard touchdown. The Rams win. 45 to 10. Go defense! Go. No slide, baby!
I didn't see that coming. I thought Russell Wilson was going to bounce back from their tough loss against uh, Tennessee. And But I, I got to give a shout-out to Minnesota, you know, for coming out with their first win. And I think the game of the night was the Rams and Tampa Bay. The Rams basically controlled the whole game throughout the second quarter to the end, and Tampa ended up losing by 10. I just think the Rams are – they might come out of the NFC. What you think, Derek? Yeah, I believe the Rams, like, they're going to be a number one team, like, I mean, beating Tom Brady and the Bucks, like that's not an easy task. Like, you know, I'm 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 loving the Rams, and the Rams are doing my fantasy football league very well right now with Cooper Cup. I tell you that, like Cooper Cup, I believe he's still the number one receiver, and uh, Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup just have like that that QB and receiver connection, and like I'm I'm loving it, especially for my fantasy team. I mean, I'm loving the Rams. See, I'm loving their odds of like taking this thing all the way. Oh yeah, the Rams are playing great. I mean. If they win a Super Bowl, the best trade of the of his, the NFL history will be trade Matthew Stafford to us, and we'll give you Jared Goff. I think that that that's probably going to be up there with number one. But they have a big bigger task next week when they're taking on Kyle Murray and the Arizona Cardinals, and both teams are three and zero right now. We'll see which team comes out with the W because whichever team wins will take over first place in that NFC West division. So. He got some great games coming up next week. This week has some good games. Tune in uh, Monday night to see the Dallas Cowboys take on the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, it's just it's just going to be a great NFL season. But, you know, Derek, it's time for me to close out the show. I appreciate everybody for listening. I'm your host, Jalen Cavalier. It's been a great episode of What's Good. I appreciate you, Derek, for joining the show today. No problem, no problem, like always. And I'll catch y'all again next week.